friends. Today we're going to create a fish by using different modelling techniques. I'll show you lots of ways you can use the magic clay to create fins and scales and we'll put them all together to create a lovely fish. Ready to join me? Great. Okay, let's see what we're going to need. Got some scissors, some modelling tools, a fine liner, magic clay, A3 paper, A4 paper and an acetate sheet to work on. Let's get started. We're going to work out what our fish shape is going to be. So I'm going to think of all the fish bodies that I like. And I like big fat ones like this. And there's long skinny ones. So I'm going to do a long skinny one. And maybe a half round one, almost a semicircular one, like an angelfish one. So I've got three body shapes. Now I'm going to think about all the different tails. Now let's have a look. Some angelfish, like tropical tails. What about just a normal fish tail? And then maybe a, just a normal one. Let's try that one. And the next thing, of course, is some fins. Let's go for some fins. Some big shark sort of fins some wobbly fins and maybe some quite zigzag crazy fins. Now I'm going to put these together and I'm going to create a fish using these parts. So I'll look at the other piece of paper and let's put that down. Okay, I think I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to use the big round one. And I think I like that tropical fish one. And these fins. And that's my fish design. And that's what we're going to use to make our white fish. What I want you to do now is to go grab a piece of paper and your marker do your own chart with the fish bodies and the fish tails and then come and design your own fish, okay? Here's my fish design and I've popped it underneath the piece of acetate sheet so that's going to protect it and I can work on top of it. So we're going to use the magic clay and I'm going to use my tools. So first of all with our magic clay make sure take the lid off piece of paper there and we're going to grab a little bit. Always pop the lid back on to keep it nice and soft. Now we're going to fill up our fish with lots of different shapes. So first of all I'm going to do some spirals. So with your magic clay, roll, roll, roll some little spirals, some little snakes. And then we're going to roll them up and pop them on the side of the fish. Okay. And keep rolling, some little spirals. Okay. Keep rolling some little spirals and just fill up the front of our fish. with little tiny spirals, okay? So join with me as you go along. Get some little spirals happening with your hand. Pop them in. Now as you're going along, do make sure they touch each other because you want them to stick and to join. So here we go, a few more. Okay. I'm going to continue making my little spirals. You can watch me or you can make your own spirals. So once you've done the spiral, I'm going to do some little balls in the next bit. So picture
branch off a little tiny bit, roll them around, push, and just pop them down next door, filling up all that lovely space. Once again, little tiny bits with your fingers, pushing them down, filling them up. I've got some spirals and some balls and some little snakes. So there are lots of other ways we can use our magic clay to create different shapes and to fill up our shape space. So I've got a little ball here. I'm just going to pinch the ball, pinch, pinch, pinch. So it's actually quite light. I'm going to use that to fill up a space. So little tiny ball, pinch, 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 filling up the space. Can you think of different ways we can fill up this shape with our magic clay? We've got our spirals and our balls and our snakes. We might like to do um, just squash our snakes together and make little piles of snakes. Very, very thin spaghetti ones. Very, very thin. Okay, I'll just give the body a bit of a push because we want, even though this is soft, it does need to be pressed together to stick. Okay. Body, main body's done. Now we need the tail, the head, and the fins. We've finished the body part. We've still got the tail and the fins and the face to go. I'm going to try and give my fish a bit of a 3D look, so by putting a fin out. So I'm taking a bit off. Once again, just squashing and squeezing with my fingers. And I'm going to put that, just push it on there so it sticks. And that. Now, if you want to, you can always just use your scissors to cut and push your shapes around. Now I'm going to go and work on my fins. I've squashed, grabbed a piece, squashed it down. I'm going to cut it now. Just a couple of pieces and Bring it down there. With my face, what I might do is I might just get one long, long snake to go around the outside just to make the, the shape of the, um, the head. And I'm going to once again use my fingers to create a long snake. Now when you're making snakes, always find the bit that's a bit fat and give that a bit of a roll. Now let's see. I'll start here and go all the way around my face. Now he probably needs a bit of a mouth, my fish. A bit of a mouth there. And I'm going to keep going around and around just to fill in that shape of the face. Don't forget we've got an eye to go in there as well. So I'm going to push that down. A little bit more to go there. More of our magic clay. A little tiny stake to fill up that space there. Head, fins, body. I'll make an eye now using a big ball. Pop it over there. I'm going to use my, my tools just to give it a bit. Right, so we've got. I'm going to also use my tools just to create a few marks on my fins there. 
Não sei, é muito bom, amamos. Okay. I might even make his eye bigger. It's got a snake around that eye. Now that looks like a really big snake eye. Perfect. Now we've just got the tail to do now. Some more magic clay. Once again, I'm just going to get a fat snake and just, just get some squashed snakes really. Let's put that on to make our tail. Almost done. Now when this dries, it's going to become quite hard. At the moment it's quite soft, but it's going to become quite hard. It'll take a couple of days, um, and so don't move it off the acetate sheet until it's dry. But this hair here is a little bit thin, so I might need to make it a little bit more, a little bit stronger by just adding a few more little tiny mini snakes. Right, let's get him off that paper there. There's our fish all right to go. I love working with magic clay. I love that soft sponginess on my fingers. And I really like the fish that we've made. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you again soon.